The wait is finally over. The Safari Rally is back. It is without any shadow of a doubt an all new, totally unique, rough, tough challenge. All of that adds up to a spectacular addition to the World Rally Championship. Make no mistake, this rally is still all about survival. The rally kicked off on Thursday afternoon with a short super special, but the real action began today. The tight and technical Chewy Lodge. Sebastian Ogier struggled opening the road, taking a cautious approach. Fifth fastest, dropping 7.2 seconds. Incredibly slippery, uh, very sandy surface. Absolutely no grip, so I don't know how it's going to evolve behind, but uh, difficult one for us, so yeah, we had to make it through. Instead, it was Thierry Neuville who was setting the pace through the rough stuff, taking the stage win and the overall rally lead ahead of teammate Oit Tanak. A strong start from the Hyundais. This is something. We still can improve a little bit the car as well, but yeah, not, not an easy stage to start with. The fast but unpredictable 32 kilometers of Keidong followed, and just a couple of kilometers from the stage start, OJ missed his breaking point into this right hander. Rear left damper failure followed, leaving him to limp through the remainder of the morning. Things would go from bad to worse for Toyota. Elvin Evans clipped a rock hidden on the apex of this right hander, ripping the suspension off the car. The Welshman's day was done. Danny Sordo would suffer a similar fate just moments later, his Hyundai i20's front suspension letting go in bizarre fashion and firing him off into the Kenyan bush. He too joined the retirement list. In a drama-filled stage, Calais Rovampera, spectacular as ever, but was struggling with dust inside the car. Despite that, he managed second fastest through and up to second overall, 1.3 seconds clear of Tanner. There was so much dust in the car, I couldn't breathe, so it's a so for sure. It was a good morning for Takamoto Katsuta, passing the ailing Sebastian Ogier for fourth. Up at the business end though, Thierry Neuville leading the cars back to midday service, but just 5.1 seconds clear of the chasing Cali Rovampera. Into the afternoon and conditions even rougher than the morning loop. Rovan Pera picked up where he left off to go 6.3 seconds quicker than Thierry Neuville and take the rally lead. Oit Tanak second fastest through the stage but struggling with his Hyundai stalling in the slower corners. The Estonian sending a clear message to the team. Every airplane is stalling now so <laughs> what's happening guys? The second pass through Kedong and Thierry Neuville was untouchable despite a rear right puncture. The Belgian 11.2 quicker than Rovan Pera and he retook the top spot. Meanwhile, a brilliant drive from Gus Greensmith in the M Sport Ford Fiesta running a strong fifth overall despite a puncture at the end of the stage ahead of teammate Adrian Formo. But the best was saved till last. Thierry Neuville came into the final stage of the day carrying an engine issue, but that wasn't his main problem. A spectacular tyre delamination and double puncture cost him 40 seconds. Yeah, obviously we got to the end, so we need to go back to service now. There's some things to check. His teammate Oit Tanak suffered a front right puncture and he dropped over 50 seconds. And all of this should have played into the hands of Kalirov and Pera. But incredibly, the Finn got stuck in the fesh fesh at the start of the stage and he had to be recovered, retiring from the day. Which means Thierry Neuville is our rally leader. Another six stages to run tomorrow and they are even rougher than today. Safari Rally is back and it's back with a bang.